another video. In today's video, we'll be showing you just how cheap hot pot here is in Vietnam. So as you guys may know, hot pot is one of our favorite foods. And right behind us is Lao Mini, which serves 11 different items in their hot pot for only 39,000. So without further ado, let's go check it out. So we have prawns, we have bao ying, we have gai ying, uh, two types of gai ying, uh, tofu, squid, beef with mushrooms, more squid, more fish balls, a piece of fish, corn, pippies, and vegetables. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say that's about 11, that sounds about right. Give or take, but it yeah, that's heat. Good for one person, one serving. This is good, and of course you can add things on, but we've just gone with what the combo is. 11 items for 39,000. And the soup, wow, it is so hot sitting here right it's now. It's blistering. It is boiling right in front of us. <sighs> it's simmering down, I mean, slowly disappearing. But I mean, you can always ask for more as well. But let's go ahead and chuck some stuff in. Yeah. So the soup itself is a... Uh, Lao Thai, which is... Lao Thai is like a sour kind of pineapple soup. Um, it has a lot of garlic in it, pineapple juices, pineapple pieces as well. And yeah, just all sorts. We've had Lao Thai a couple of times. It's uh, based on what you describe it, it kind of sounds like ganjul, like sour soup, but the colour is different. So maybe even tom yum in between? Yeah, it's kind of a mixture of tom yum and uh, ganjul, like sour soup. Wow, and we've got a beef to the gnocchi. So we're going to throw in my favourite, which is the dahu tofu. I just saw that. It's Hiding at the bottom. Corn, you never go wrong with corn and hot pot. It's always so sweet, it absorbs all of the flavour. Corn is a must, especially in hot pot. It's a good way to end the hot pot as well. And lots of combinations of seafood balls. So this one I think is either lobster or sea urchins inside. Yeah. And you've got to be careful with those ones because you can really burn yourself. Yeah, they are dangerous. They are piping hot. They are filled with, they have like a, a I'm not sure if it's a fish row filling, but they are dangerous. Oh wow, and a calamari piece. Fish bowl, beef bowl, Hong Kong. I also got a kumquat drink as well. Uh, jada. Chinese cabbage, piece of fish, which we better eat quite quick early on. And a one cute pippy. One cute little one. So they weren't lying about the 11 items. There's definitely more than 11, I believe. Especially if you're counting all the um, vegetables. But there is heaps in there. And for 10,000 Vietnamese dong more, um, you can get uh, meat, but we just opted for this one and let's see how we go. Mm. I mean, I reckon I was definitely full after this one. I mean, we could even share one even. Yeah, I mean, the amount of noodles, but I guess it's for two people, so that's probably why. But look at my messy bowl here. <laughs> it's a bit of a disaster. And this is extremely. Strong. They've put the jellies, those uh, blue jellies. The butane jellies. I don't know what it is, but they light it up and it stays alive for ages. Yeah, and it gets you going. Oh my, it's hot, it's hot, it's so busy. I haven't even started eating yet, I'm sweating. <sighs> Keeping an eye on this fish, because I don't want it to overcook. And we do have two sauces, so two, uh, one looks like a lime. The infamous green chili sauce. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. That one's like a red chili sauce as well. Mm. Oh, they're both, they're both usually paid with seafood. That's really spicy. In a really good way. I'll try it. Alright, pass you your ladle. Yes, please. I need that. Wow. Try some of the soup first? Yeah, I want to try some soup. Just so it cooks all the noodles. Uh, we love hot pot. We love hot pot. I mean, even though we sweat during hot pot sessions, we love this. Mm. It's so good. It's nice and homey. It kind of warms your heart, I guess. It's a very nice comfort food. Yeah. Usually our go-to food, um, whether eating out or even eating at home, is hot pot. 
You can never go wrong. A variety of foods. A variety of foods you can never go wrong. I want to say everything is cooked right now. The fish is cooked as well. Good. Looks delicious. Ooh, I would love to try the soup, but it's scorching, so I might have to take some things out. Yeah, I might do the same actually. That's just bubbling. That's not going to stop. Knocking with beef. Ooh. Yeah. And um, usually in our hopper, we love mushrooms. So a variety of mushrooms you like a gnocchi, a king oyster mushroom. Yeah. Shiitake mushroom as well. Shiitake is a good one. Where it kind of uh, rehydrates itself and just yeah, soaks in all the actual flavor. And my favorite in a hot pot, you definitely have to have tofu. Oh, especially when it's tofu skin or tofu bamboo. Whew. Soaks up all that broth. But be careful not to burn yourself, but it's wow. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm ready to try. What are you trying first? I'm gonna go straight for the gnocchi with beef. Yourself? Yeah, I'll do the same. Ooh, I'm scared to burn myself. Yeah, let's go. Mm. I love the crunch. Mm. The crunch that the gnocchi gives. It's such a pleasant crunch in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And wrap with beef, I mean, what better way to wrap it? I love enough you mushroom, you're right. The brush is awesome, but it seriously gets into your teeth. <laughs> you have to have a good brush after this. Oh, that was delicious. Try some of the soup? Yeah. That's good. That's actually really good. Uh, I've noticed in Vietnam, the lao Thai is very sweet and synthetic tasting. But that's actually really nice. Yeah, this one's good. It's in between tom yum and ganjo, so it's sour soup. A little spicy, little spice to it. Even though we haven't added anything to it. Mm. And I'm gonna go for the squid. Smell like calamari. So. Wow. Mm. That's good. Perfectly cooked, not overcooked. Even though it's blistering hot, very delicious. Mm. I tried the noodle. Hong Kong, in hot pot, so crunchy. Definitely cannot. You got to make sure you don't overcook it, and the crunch stays there. Mm. This one, I'm surprised they didn't give us the full fish ball. They gave us half, but I mean. It does count as 11 items. Mm. And other variety fish balls. So I've got a full one here. Super cute. Might wait a sec. <laughs> that one I think is the bassa. The bassa fish, fish ball. Wow, and look at this fish. It's got a little bit of fat on the outside and then inside looks super meaty. I'm going to go ahead and try this. First, I'll try to scoop mine up. Wow. It's so good. Fish. Vietnam? Oh, wow, we love fish. It's so soft. Not even, not even that though. The fish in Vietnam is so affordable. They have so many different types of fish. All of them have their own unique kind of flavors, paired with different kind of styles of cooking. Whether if you're making like you know kaka or even just hot pot by itself, it is so good, mm -hmm. so affordable. We, especially when we're eating at home, we love frying it with a little bit of turmeric mm -hmm. yeah. and salt. Yeah. Delicious. Wow, oh, gonna take my phone out. Mm. Wow, that fish is so soft. That fish is amazing. That fish is actually so soft. I'm quite sad that they only give you one piece. Yeah, but luckily it's not small. It's such a it's such a tease. Oh, and I can see tofu and a beef ball here. Looks good and tofu. Um, you've got like the silken sort of tofu here, so you've got to be careful to, to not lose it. And when you're grabbing it out, not to accidentally break it as well. Cabbage. So Chinese cabbage is also one of my favorite vegetables to eat with hot pot. Dion calls it nappies. <laughs> I call it nappy cabbage, but I believe the correct term is nappa. Yeah. Nappa cabbage. Correct that if I'm wrong. But yeah, nappy cabbage. It's half fish ball you've got, it's cheese inside. Yeah, so it is the um, cheese fish ball, which is, I think, my favourite one. 
Vietnam. There's not many that I do like, but I think that one's my favorite. I don't really like the um the bassa fish, to be honest. The bassa fish balls, they have a strong, unique taste, mm. which I'm not a fan of. But I mean, those ones are delicious. Wow. The cheese inside? So good. Oh. Well. Ah. Well, actually, that fish ball that I just had doesn't taste like bassa whatsoever. It just tastes like, yeah, just fishy essence. This is going to be my favorite. Oh my, the cheese on that. So my actual favorite one is the sea urchin ones, or the ones with the fish roe. Mm. Let's try this one. I'm scared because this is my best one now. That's mouth. so true. I was just gonna say that. Right. Mm. Yeah. Oh. This one's the fish roe one where it's fish roe eggs in the inside, and it's just packed in there. Mm. Beef balls. Yeah, honestly, you don't really need the sauces. You don't. Oh. They're just so strong in flavor. Beef ball is good. Tender inside, has that little bit of crunch. Mm. It might seem like we're rushing to eat, but really, it's really delicious. I'm just trying to get inside me because I'm hungry, I'm starving, and I mean, these foods are delicious. Mm. And honestly, it's getting really good here. Mm. It's uh, peak hour traffic, and there's so much cars going up and down the street, so you know, there's a lot of honking going on in the background, and I'm sorry. <laughs> You're so right about that beef ball. That beef ball, it has a tendons and you can just taste the crunch, it's delicious. Wow, yeah, beef balls here in Vietnam, I guess anywhere, even back in Australia, it's hit and miss. Mm. Sometimes you get ones that are a little bit softer and uh, a bit too soft. You want that little bit of that crunch when you get into it. You want to really, you really want to taste the kind of ligaments mm. and the tendons yeah. in there. Yeah. That prawn, prawn head, it's amazing. I've only got a little bit left. I've got a few fish balls, tofu, the whole tofu, the whole thing. Right? And this is just super exciting. I mean, I'm so hungry, but this is so exciting for what you get. And there's so many of these places around in Vietnam. We're always riding around and we see a sign at the front and you know, it's 40k or 50k. And sometimes it'll tell you how many items. This one caught our eye because it told you exactly what you're getting. There's a photo, 11 items, you know, sold. <laughs> you had me at 39k. Yeah, the concept is awesome too. You get your own pot. You have to smash Jerry. <laughs> and I love it as well though. I love how in Vietnam they compete with each other. So whether you might not like the items here, you can go across the road and they'll sell the exact same kind of concept but with different items. Mm. Not even joking. So this street alone has other ones, same price but less items. So this is the one we went with and you know we're not disappointed. No. No. Not at all. Mm. I mean, what is it? A dollar fifty US? And you get fish, you get prawn, you get you know, squid. That's that's crazy. Just the prawns and the squid itself is about that price. Mm. Back in Australia, where we're from, definitely cannot get this. <laughs> So when we came across this we were so excited to try it out. In Australia, $1.50 US will probably get you maybe just noodles. A prawn, yeah. That's about it. You probably get seated, that's you probably get seated for a dollar fifty. Wow. I mean yeah, you get a can of drink and then you gotta go home. <laughs> wow. I love how affordable Vietnam is. We love the fact that we can have little date nights and I mean film as well, take you guys around and show you all the cheap places. And it's just been a highlight trying and exploring all these, you know, affordable places in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Wow. Definitely when you are in Vietnam, check out one of these hop-up places and let us know how you go. <laughs> no way to change. dinner and that was incredible the value that we got a dollar fifty for 11 items and honestly we counted and yeah. there is more than 11 items so we're very blown away with the value that we got and what an amazing dinner I mean I'm not gonna call a false advertisement since that uh, we ordered 11 we got more but I mean I'm really surprised that 
the amount of items that we got for only 39,000, that had to be the best hot pot I've ever had. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you probably can't find a hot pot cheaper than that. If you do, let us know in the comments below. And once again, thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Yeah, shout it in my drop top, drop top. Yeah, we stick and like a high spot, high spot. And she really wanna run away.